Coming up, Laura visits me in Ensenada. We befriend a sick sea lion, and I climb the mast for a repair. <laughs> Say hi to YouTube. <laughs> Laura and I check out a winery near Ensenada. That's right, apparently this region is somewhat known for its vineyards and wines. This cute place was recommended by my neighbors at the marina and keeps us warm while we sip. The bathroom was a very unique setup. The vineyard also had several old boats on the premises. Sales. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. What's going on here? Whoa, should we go down into the bilge? These two boats were next to a bar and converted into what appeared to be either additional congregating space for the bar or some meeting rooms. Oh man, these things. Hands down, Ensenada has the best churros, mixed and fried fresh right before your very eyes. Well, hi buddy. Oh, he's cute. Looks tired. <laughs> Where are you going, buddy? Uh-oh, hairball? You okay? Fishbone? Oh God. Over the side, over the side, buddy. <laughs> you okay? Do not throw up in our general direction. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. oh, I hope he doesn't have COVID. You okay, buddy? You gonna take a nap? Feel better? Meet Falafel, the sick sea lion. We nicknamed him Falafel because not only does he kind of look like one, we figured if you asked him how he was doing, he'd reply, I Falafel. Laura and I check out a place called the Container Plaza. It's a collection of restaurants and shops made out of abandoned shipping containers. Hi buddy. Hey. How you doing, guy?
Falafel returns to rest while the rest of his sea lion friends do water yoga. All right, what are we doing today? Going up the mast to replace the Animonger. We finally have a sunny day here in Ensenada. I brought a replacement anemometer with. So Chuck is gonna be summiting the mast to replace the broken one. So I'm now below deck. This is the line that we need to replace. A little nerve wracking to be down here. I can't see him. Just hear lots of movement up above. All right, the wire is starting to go. Tie off that end to something. Tying this end off and coming up, up above. Okay, roger that, thank you, over. Got the uh, end tied off. We're gonna go see how Chuck is doing up above. It's extremely windy down here, so I cannot imagine what is going on up at the top of the map. Still have resistance. Yeah. Working. Got the black anemometer cord. The rope was used to pull the anemometer cord on his way back down. You exhausted? Oh, it was like three hours up there. Back on land, or at least on water. So I got that new anemometer all the way up to the top, and there was a significant physical defect in it. It was not aligned properly, so if the hole was in the notch like it should be, the anemometer was like at a 45 degree angle. It's just like a flimsy little piece of plastic. I'm almost certainly at some point going to have to go back up there and do something about that. After recovering, we enjoy a brief afternoon sail and test the new anemometer. All through the day and night, we'd hear a bunch of sea lions barking, so we head out to find where they're all hiding. When we return to Sparkle Muffin, Falafel is still there. Look at all that regal chonkiness. We told the marina about him, and they said next time we saw him to let them know, and they'd call someone to come help. But after this, Falafel did not return. The 
down there off in the distance is Ensenada. Over there way off in the distance is La Bruja Toda. We checked out a nearby town to visit the beach and do some beer tasting at a cerveceria. On the way back, we got the authentic taco experience. Our time together flew by and just like that it was time for Laura to head home. Be sure to subscribe to keep up with new videos as they come out. There's some exciting things coming up you won't want to miss. Follow me on Instagram at svsparklemuffin to get more real-time updates. That's all for now. See you next time.